Hi, I'm Sophie and today I would like to talk about compatibility of RF LMS twist port antennas and MicroTIG radios. If you want to know how to connect your MicroTIG radio with RF LMS twist port antenna, then this is the video you need. Twistport is RF LMS proprietary waveguide connector with practically zero signal loss. It has superior mechanics for extremely easy and quick radio installation. If you wish to learn more about Twistport ecosystem, check out the video here. We have 14 antennas with Twistport connector working in the 5 GHz band, 7 symmetrical horn sector antennas with beam widths from 30 to 90 degrees, 3 asymmetrical horn sector antennas with beam widths of 30, 60 and 90 degrees, where you can use beam switch feature and make 30 degree beam width into 20 degree beam width, ultra horn, a 24 dBi gain and 15 degree beam with narrow sector or PTP antenna, and ultra dish series parabolic dish antennas for PTP and CP applications with 21, 24 and 27 dBi gain. Microtik offers radios that come in a PCB form, known as router boards, and they also offer radios with dual coax output like NetMetal. In order to connect Microtik radios with any of these antennas, you have to use a specific Twistport adapter. Twistport adapter, or simply DPA, converts the radio interface into Twistport mail connector. If you are interested in learning more about TPA, check out the video here. Now, let's look closer on the options we offer for connecting MicroTIG radios. TPA RBC is made of cast aluminium and provides premium protection for MicroTIG router board. This TPA is compatible with router board series RB91, 92, 71, 411L and RBM11G. For the RB411L, you must ensure the radio module size fits. TPA RBP allows the same compatibility of router boards as the RBC. The only difference is the materials from which it is built. While TPA RBC is entirely made of aluminium, the TPA RBP is made of plastic. Nevertheless, the RF performance is equally excellent. You must also ensure the radio mobile size fits. For the radios shown in the text, we recommend using TPA SMA, which provides a connectorized interface to be used with pigtails. This is a kind of universal interface, so we have to mount the radio separately from the antenna structure. Speaking of mounting, once the router board is installed into the TPA RBC or RBP, all you need to do is insert it into the Twistport antenna, rotate and the click lets you know that the adapter is mounted and connected at the same time. All that within a few seconds. How cool is that? Here is the compatibility matrix once again for your reference. Please note that this may evolve with time and new SKUs coming from Microtik. For most up-to-date information, click the link to get the compatibility sheet ready for print and sharing. Don't forget to give us like, share and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about the RF world. See ya!